Good afternoon, Sue Ortiz here. It's about 1.30 p.m. Last day of February, 28th, 2018. I wanted to give you a shot of what the edge of one of those nets look like. Tyler from Secure Team showed a video of a chemtrail that wrapped halfway across the globe. And you can see the videos I just posted from earlier this morning. We had beautiful blue skies with the weird cotton ball puff shit that they generate out west somewhere. Possibly an underground facility. We got plenty of chemicals that can bust in from everywhere. But this is what the edge of that blanket looks like. I call it the net. Alright. And so I got home. The hookah. And, uh, you know, they're just getting going. I like looking back at these videos so I can study the sky. But in any event, that's the edge of the blanket. This is the sky. You see the blanket extends. And you just, people think, oh, it's a cloudy day. No, they just fucking hit you with the blanket. I wanted to try to get some footage of these crystals. It's mad hard trying to set up the camera somewhere. Stand up where I can show you and see what I'm shooting. Here's a crystal that had target practice done to it. I took it out of its little coil and I did not realize the amount of damage that was on this side. They flattened it, they melted it. Okay, this was a nice big old chunk of crystal and it, it was shaped like a crystal, like your typical See how this one is shaped? Might be an epic fail on this part, but okay. Here's like a regular shaped crystal. This one was like that. See how it's flat on one side? Remember, this was wrapped in coil. Okay, the side that's melted is where you see those rectangular bars, like I was talking about, and the surface is what looks like almost like a hutch effect. See how this is like glass? This isn't. If you've seen any of those hutch effects videos, what it does to metal, to me that's that looks like what happened here. Again, it was an aerial attack. <laughs> aerial assault. And uh, never really examined it. It's like scattered from within in a bunch of different places, but I did not notice it was flat. It was when I finally took it out and looked at it, like, is it flat on one side? It is. So, that's, that's when you know that you've hit on something with these. All right. <laughs> you know, or I wouldn't have posted all this shit. I'm sick of the chemtrails. I'm sick of getting poisoned. You see the sheet is moving, the net. Behind it, they're going to tell you there's what's puffy cumulus, but those are not puffy cumulus. And uh, last time I saw a cumulonimbus cloud, a real one, I want to say was almost eight months ago. Even before that, even longer. I've been looking up my whole life. Thank God. I'm not buried in a phone. So there's the edge of your blanket. You can see it's 
shifting, it's shifting. All right, there's no wind right now. It's really calm. Supposedly it's going to shift from south to northeast and it's gonna blow down off the lake, off Lake Michigan. Remember, wind is generated by temperature difference. So if they're heating up the ionosphere, pretty easy to shift wind direction. Normally, every day around 3.30, this area should experience a gentle lake breeze from Lake Michigan. I grew up here. You knew when it was 3.30 because the lake breeze would roll in. Even out here in Aurora, 60 miles from that son of a bitch, it's a big lake. You know, my tree's dying, the ones that are left, anyway. God, I love this tree. I hope it stays forever. Let's see how the little organite's doing. Standing in the vortex. It's, it's just a big, thick net of shit. I noticed when they started using the net. Now I see they got it. This just falls out all halfway around the globe, and you're not gonna be able to see that Google Earth shit no more. They changed all our satellite stuff. So there's the edge of the net getting blown to the north of us. And there's the sun coming out, and it's beautiful out. It could have been about 60, but they were too busy with their nut. I had a commentator ask, how do you know when they're working? Well, when the black helicopters start buzzing you, you know they're working. <laughs> no, seriously, you should feel something coming off of these. If you don't, you've, you've just got a short in your wire. It's shorting back to something. It's grounding out. There's so many things you can do that they don't want us to know about. These crystals, they've got to know what they do. All I know is they melted the shit out of that one. Let's pause it, see if I can't stand it up here in the sun and get a better shot of it. Oh, when they melt your crystals, you know for sure they're working. Hang on. And we're back. The crystal on the left is the one that was targeted. The crystal on the right is one that... I had it somewhere for a real long time and something very interesting happened to it. It went clear up top and cloudy on the bottom. But I just wanted it there to show you how this one used to be. I hand picked these myself. You can see when I hand pick these crystals, they're all pretty uniform. Oops, sorry, horrible camera work, I know. It is very bright out here. And I'm in a vortex. Alright. This one is completely melted. Go with the camera work. Yeah, it's just too damn bright. And if I stand here, I bet y'all be in the light, of course. I shade it that way. Alright, left we can here. Please bear with me. The forward crystal is the melted crystal. Right on top of it, maybe. 
I don't know if you can see the rectangular slots in it, but it looks like hutch effect. Can't tell where the hell the camera is on this thing. It feels like I'm shooting it way off camera, but it's in the center of the picture. It's a weird tablet. My phone is on the fritz, though. I'm trying to get the best shot I can of this. So, anyway, when your crystal comes out like that, you know you pissed someone the hell off for sure, all right? That occurred when I was doing my Doppler series of videos. <laughs> I believe it occurred that night. All right, so you can see the blanket has moved. There's the edge of it. And that's what it looks like, a big old sheet. That Tyler, the team was talking about. Banning the globe. And so they got some new, new kind of rig that's pumping it out. Just think if they, you know, actually use this thing for good. We could change all the pH of the soil real quick. I know that. We could get them back to what it's supposed to be. They've already outfitted all this shit.